What's up, what's up everyone? It's Charles, Supercamp Programs Manager, and today we're talking about a brand new refresher. Some of us might know exactly what this is, some of us might not have any clue at all. We're talking about quantum reading. And I'm thinking back to when I was a kid. If somebody would have said, hey Charles, you need to sit still long enough to focus and read a book, I would have laughed because my parents couldn't even get me to sit still long enough to eat dinner. So you want me to sit still long enough to read a book? Not gonna happen. Middle school, high school, college, I started to realize that if I don't master the skill, then I'm not gonna be successful in the things that I need to do. 2011 is introduced to quantum reading process, changed my life. It was amazing. I realized that I wasn't using the five step process at all, I was just reading. And then I had to keep rereading and rereading. So going into the first step of prepare. Prepare your space and your stuff. I wasn't doing that. I didn't have a clean desk. I had some random stuff all over the page. I had other distractions up. I had my phone out. Everything wasn't working. So I cleared all that out. Step one, good. Myself. I, I didn't believe in myself because I didn't even put in the work to read. So I thought that I wasn't that good of a reader. So I changed my attitude. I created a positive uh, reading belief, which a lot of us use, which is I'm a powerful reader and I can quickly comprehend. That was, it was huge. That, it was a game changer for me. Then I went into state. I, I would always get sidetracked. And I would, if you can even see in this video, I'm looking around and everything else. I get sidetracked very, very quickly. So what I need to do is queue up, which is pull up a picture, breathe and release, and then go. And by doing that over and over, when I'm reading the book that I have, it, I found that it became easier to focus in and comprehend. So the second I lost track of what I was reading, pull up a picture, breathe and release, go. The more I did that, I started to realize that I could stay focused for longer. Then super scan. You just take a quick glimpse at each page, about a second a piece. Quick glimpse, mm-hmm, got it. And then you go into your read. Your read is using your visual guide and skiing down the slope. Now, when I was a little kid, that's how they taught me how to read. And I was like, this is great, this is amazing. But then I got into college and I realized this thing called Fimage, I was afraid of my image. Like, if people see me using a visual guide to read, they're gonna think I'm dumb. But I was dumb that I wasn't using my visual guide because it helped me understand and quickly have my eyes track where I was going. So using your visual guide in the read, and then the final step of review. And review is talking to people. It's telling people about what you just read. It's an easy thing to do. And then creating a mind map because our brain loves pictures and colors. And it's gonna be easier for us to comprehend. Once I put all five of those steps, prepare, state, super scan, read, review, and I did that consistently, I went from being able to read a book like this uh, that would have taken me anywhere from two to three days, and if I was in high school, probably a week, because I would have thrown the book out, to two hours. Because then I could talk about what's in the book and understand it because I'm doing the process and I'm working and I'm working and I'm working. The challenge for you is this. Which step in the quantum reading process do you really want to put some love and some attention to? For me, it's state. Because that's the one that I get distracted constantly. So think about where do you want to go? Prepare, state, super scan, read, review. Put it in the comments below. What do you want to work on? Go ahead and follow us at our social media handles. They're right here below. And then www.supercamp.com. We'll check you out later. Have an amazing week. And remember, you are a powerful reader and you can quickly comprehend. Have a good one. Thank you.